Our journey starts with the CX-5 right here at Stokes Mazda. We'll be venturing off today into the outskirts of Charleston, South Carolina to drive this phenomenal CUV that is top rated in the United States and among the world. Stay with us as we keep rolling on. All right, everybody, we're rolling out from Stokes Mazda on this beautiful day right here in North Charleston, South Carolina. Stay tuned. We have the 2017 CX-5 that I'm in right now. And then right behind me, Chris is in the 2017 MX-5 RF with BBS package. So stay tuned. This is going to be extremely cool. We're heading down to the Charleston Skate Park to do our video today. So that's going to be awesome. walk over and take a, a quick look at the new CX-5. I'll also do a separate video on this today too, but uh, just while we're, we're looking at them, why not, right? Let's have us ch check it out. So another gorgeous vehicle, two similar colors. Uh, my most favorite color on the CX-5 this year is that new Soul Red Metallic, which looks really good, but this is a very nice color as well. We're definitely liking the new CX-5 body style, a quieter cabin on the inside, and it has even more features on it than the CX-9. So Chris was actually mentioning that to me earlier about the CX-9 not having like uh, the, 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 the icers on, on here, which is not really all that needed where we live at down in the south here in Charleston. But um, just a few features that this car has that the CX-9 doesn't, which I'm sure Mazda will add them onto the CX-9 in 2018, because this pretty much, you know, it came out after the new body style CX-9 came out. Now, so we got a ton of camera equipment out here today. Wanted to show you real quickly, you know, this is a good area right here for cargo room. Look at all the space you got. I mean, I can get all my camera gear in the back, camera bags, you know, the back seats fold down, you know, 50-50 split with a pass-through right through the middle. So you got a lot of nice space in the back of the CX-5 to get all your gear in and go out and do a photography shoot. And, you know, again, if you if you live a busy lifestyle doing a lot of stuff outdoors, it's just the perfect car to do that. You got power tailgate feature right up there, drops that down. Also, rear backup camera. And the safety features on this vehicle are just impeccable. I mean, like I did when I was driving down the road earlier in this car today, and you're going to have to check out the second video about it, but um, a lot of great safety features on the new 2017 CX-5. This one is a Grand Touring front-wheel drive machine gray metallic. And uh, yeah, it's got the 2.5 liter engine, 187 horsepower. Again, you can get it in an all-wheel drive if that's something that, uh, that you're looking for. So there's the interior on that one. Let's uh, let's walk over to Chris and see let's see what he's found out. If he's found out anything, I don't know. But from what I'm looking at on those brakes, they look like four piston. I mean, they're just that big Brembo brake. What have you seen, Chris, online? Well, I'm doing another search. Yeah, it's quite difficult. Was there anything on actual Mazda's? Sight? Uh, no, it doesn't say like four piston or two piston. Yeah, it just says Brembo. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking they're four piston because Brembo brakes are usually always four piston. So that might be the idea. And we'll definitely find out the answer for you if you stay, keep watching with us. We'll uh, maybe we'll, we'll walk back to the shop when we get back to the store if there's any text there left and ask them because they the technicians they work on them all the time so they should know the answer to that question. Alright, 
right, let's hop in the car with Chris, check out the CX-5, and uh, Chris has got some interesting things to share with us. Let me just move a couple little camera things. We got the GoPro here for the cool GoPro shots today. We got the straw hat, throw it in the back. Oh, let's take a look. All right, Chris. So tell us, I guess, some of the stuff that you've learned about it and things that you like compared to maybe other brands out there and stuff like that. Well, everyone thinks it's not cold in Charleston, but there are some mornings, some days, some evenings where a heated steering wheel is relevant. Yes, you can get warm by turning on the, the heating elements, but actually holding on to a cold steering wheel, we've done that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, what if you had a heated steering wheel? How much would that improve that very moment? You're cold. Of course, you can have a heated seats and you can turn those on, but very rarely you see a heated steering wheel. That's nice, yeah. So that just takes the uh, level premium up mm -hmm. with Mazda. Now, what about um, some of these safety features? Because I was hearing a lot of sounds going down the road today. While I'm driving right now, every time a vehicle passes me, you know, on the left hand side, can you hear it? I'm getting uh, a lot of noises, a lot of chimes going on. Now, it is a little annoying if you think about it. I mean, I'm trying to drive a car and I got bing, bing, bing going on and all these different sounds. And, uh, you know, for someone that's just getting in the car for the first time driving it without, you know, you see what I'm talking about? And I'm, right now, no one's even passing me. Okay, all right. so, all right, now we got to the, uh, the safety right all yeah all these different indications going on in this in this multi-information display screen down here well, well we'll focus right here where you can okay. um, customize to however you would like to have it and here the distance recognition support system well we can read so mm -hmm. you can set it at um, far medium or near or well, if you have to, you can just go back to reset, and that's to the customer, mm -hmm. that's to the manufacturer's reset. But since we're in the car, we want to recognize it at its most near point. So I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. You know what, Chad? I don't know what that means right there. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. Uh... Oh, that's on the volume, on the warnings. Yeah. That's right. Warning distance. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. We yeah. definitely want to, when we're very near, we want to know, and the volume at high, of course, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it can be a nuisance if you didn't know what it was, but it's alerting us. Right. Okay. Now, my favorite, blind spot monitoring. So the system's on right now. We got it on. In the and we got it at a high level of volume. But the super thing about this is, not only is it on, we have in our active display up here, mm -hmm. it appears on that display while you're driving and it shows up on your mirrors mm -hmm. along with the sound. So you get, you can, you, basically three different uh, ways to know if someone's in your blind spot. The mirror, through the heads up display while driving. And also the sound, and the, the sound. audio. Okay, and it actually lets you know down there too. I filmed that when we were on the road. You did? Yeah, it'll actually, uh, it'll throw a, yeah, like a logo thing up on the bottom of the car right Literally? there. Yeah, letting you know it's, I didn't know that. yeah, it, you're in there. Um, also, when we were driving and the Miata was in front of me, it was showing me another car, which was a Mazda, right okay. in front, which was kind of Yeah, neat. you uh, you can actually adjust that. Now, um, just to hop off on, on the safety things for just a second, what, uh, I mean, what do you think, like fit and finish, stuff like that? Well, if you look at the stitching and the seats on the door panels, the dash, that alone with the different color, mm -hmm. along with the black molding, the soft touch material, it feels premium. And who doesn't want to feel premium? premium. Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, even, I mean, this is real leather on, on, everything's wrapped into the car. Yeah, the seats are pretty comfortable, aren't they? Correct. Yeah. Now, does has Mazda added in a panel roof yet? Like a 
it stretches to the back. No. Okay. You had the standard sunroof, which is automatic. That's nice. So one touch settings on there. To open. And how awesome is it to just close it? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And you can also tilt it. Uh-huh. You tell people, I mean, what's the tilt feature really for? Uh, let's say it's raining and uh, you just want that fresh air coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, perhaps you might even smell the rain, but. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. So this is that, that is like, or, or maybe if the car is parked in a parking lot on a hot day, kind of let some of the heat out the car. Yeah. I guess what, if, some, if, if someone uh, poots, farts in the car, <laughs> you could maybe get some of that out, right? Who knows? Cool. Well, I'm, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's really nice. You got your uh, your lights on all your mirrors, which is a very nice feature on both sides. You know, Chris is the guy that told me about, about not realizing how much you actually do look up and down when driving a car. Isn't that right, Chris? Right. You never know how much your eyes travel from the road to the speedometer until you actually have something that you can use. Right. And, uh, you know, with that, with that integrated with the car, you're never taking your eyes off the road. And uh, that is awesome because, you know, as many safety features as we have, we're still in control. Mm -hmm. And um, that enables you to drive even safer. But anyways, we got to get on the road. We've been out here for a little while filming. We had a great time today. Thanks for watching. Um, check out the Mazda MX-5 video with me and Chris and check out the uh, CX-5. And hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>